When Ninja Legends first came out, trying to reach the top island was almost impossible. Bullies would just smack you down and you would fall to your death. However, my new leveling up method means that you don't have to leave the safe zone. Bullies can't get you in the safe zone. So we're fighting back against the bullies. We will reach the top island. We will reach max rank. And more importantly, we will not move. Boo-hoo, sniffle, sniffle. Boo-hoo. Hey, you. Who, me? Are you tired of being a noob? Yes. Have you had enough of the bullies? Yes. Then straighten up that upper lip, soldier, because today I'm going to get you insanely powerful. <coughs> That's right, guys. You may not have known this, but I too was once a noob. That's right. I remember the old days where the wind would blow through my bacon hair and people would treat me differently because I was poor. But things have changed now. Now that I know a secret. And today I'm going to be sharing with you guys that exact secret. If you guys are sick of being a noob, then put your left hand in the air. And if you're a flipping randy, put your right hand in the air. Okay, so guys, there is two ways that you are going to be able to do this today. The Robux way and the non-Robux way. There's only one slight difference. The Robux way makes things a lot faster. So that is the way that we're going to be doing it. So guys, if you are not doing the Robux side of this, then just skip ahead the video or you could stay around and watch this. And if you're doing the Robux side of things, guys, then watch carefully. The first thing you need to do is come to the store right here and you need to go to the game party selection and you will need to buy yourself the very, very expensive plus four pet slots just like this. Next, guys, you need to buy yourself the plus two pet slots this now means you can equip eight pets and then finally you're gonna need to buy yourself the infinity ninjutsu because that is gonna make you insanely powerful now right now you should have around 400 robux left if you two had 2000 robux and if you do guys then if you come over to the uh, store selection again you will see that there is a thing called boost you're going to want to buy one of all three of these but not yet. And guys, you're going to want to buy one of all three of these. You don't need to buy 10 times chi because we do not need chi for this challenge. <laughs> That's right. Next, guys, grab yourself the auto cell as well. And as you can see, I now have all three of the boosts that I need at the top of the screen. The next step, guys, is something that unfortunately I can't show you exactly how to do on my channel. But if you look around YouTube, you will find how to do it. It's just that it's technically a glitch inside of the game that may be classed as hacking. But let's just say that a way you can get into this portal right here and guys this can take a while but remember time is of the essence here especially if you don't want to get killed by the bullies there is also one last step to do guys isn't that right older boy tell them the last step that they need to do in order to be able to get through this portal that's right you need to grab the hottest merch in the game <laughs> okay so guys right now i am about to glitch through this portal and like i said i'm not gonna show you how to do it in my video because well, it's technically cheating the game a bit too much. And if everybody figures this out, then unfortunately, everybody will be max rank. Even the bullies. I know you're watching, bullies. Yes! <laughs> it worked! Okay, guys, that took like 30 seconds, and we finally managed to make it up here. Now, guys, once you get up here, you need to simply come to the shop like this and leave the shop open. But before we do that, guys, I'm actually going to buy myself some more ranks like this. One, two, three. And I'm also going to equip all of my pets, guys. It's very important. You do not forget to do these steps because once you open this shop, you are not going to want to close it. That's right. So get your pets out now and equip every single pet, guys. Make sure you have all eight pets equipped. And once you've done that, guys, open up the shop from here and you can take the shop down to the ground floor or you can just upgrade your rank like this. Bang. And just make sure you keep this shop open. And now... This is where the challenge truly begins. As you can see, all of the islands are locked still. And we still have everything down here we would normally have. We don't even have the ability to jump. Guys, <laughs> we don't need it. That's right. As you can see right now, I'm making kind of good money anyway. So I can pretty much buy myself through most of these ranks. I mean, straight away, just like this. I should be able to buy myself through the first, like, six or seven ranks, maybe. Like, because it's so cheap. But soon, guys, I will eventually need to buy myself a better sword. And you're probably thinking, to yourself, oh, Kali, you can only buy the first few swords, so you're gonna have to climb back up, right? Wrong. <laughs> Guys, because now I've got this shop open, I can buy every single sword in this game. So as of the next rank, guys, I will be buying every single sword so you can see what I mean. So if you look, literally... 
I can buy any sword right the way to the bottom of the screen, allowing me now to stay in the safe zone the entire game without moving and get myself insane ranks. I literally just buy all the swords, and then I come to rank, and I buy the rank. I come to swords, I buy all the swords, I come to rank. And guys, even without Robux, this technique works amazingly. That's right, you can actually get to like max rank in like an hour if you have good pets. I still can't believe they haven't patched this yet. Like, literally, I'm gonna have enough SP in no time at all. I just buy more swords like this, and now watch this. Pow! Like, I'm not even swinging my sword, guys. I haven't swung my sword once, and this is how far I'm getting. Remember, guys, there are actually other game passes, like two times Team Jutsu and two times Coins, which would literally quadruple the speed of this experiment as well. But, guys, I, I really don't think we need it. We're getting N at the minute. We're, like, so far ahead of ourselves, and, I mean, we've been playing for, like, 10 minutes. It's ridiculous! That's right. I mean, at this point, you just buy swords, and then buy more swords every single time you get paid, and then, yeah, you come to rank and then you have enough for the next rank see <laughs> it's really that simple and guys more importantly there is a bully out there right now probably looking at the messages going what the heck there is a hacker inside of my game but guys i'm not hacking i just learned to play the system i mean it's technically like cheating but still it it's good <laughs> the only thing now is guys you can't do anything if you shut down this shop you have to go all the way back up there though now there's a glitch to get up there it shouldn't take too long wait guys look people in the chat is saying oh my goodness this noob is hacking 100% hacking hacker oh my goodness I will 1v1 you noobs <laughs> oh my goodness look they're saying he never moved guys they have no idea how I'm doing this this is so funny and look I will rank up again right in front of him I just need to buy new swords like this and now, I think I'm going to start swinging my sword. So, I just click down here, guys. And how much is this rank? It's 60C. Bang! Another rank. These guys are probably, like, freaking out. Look, they are. They said you hacked your pets. Oh, my goodness. And here we go, guys. Another day, another rank. We literally already have the Ancient Battle Legend rank. And we've been playing this for literally maybe 15 minutes or something like that. I mean, I've only had the boost for 9 minutes. And we didn't actually technically start opening ranks until we got the boost, right? So, uh, doing my math, that means it's been like 8 minutes and we've literally got most of the ranks in the game. Guys, somehow we went from literally taking weeks to being able to get ranks to literally 9 minutes to almost having the best rank in the game. Also, guys, leave a like down below in this video if you cannot believe this actually works and if you're going to try it. Okay, is it almost time for my next rank yet? The next one is 350 UN. Uh, we'll kind of be getting that in no time at all. So let's buy a few more swords and now we should uh, we should be getting this in a second. So guys, this is when things get difficult and uh, I do know another way to speed this up, but the idea is that we do not move, guys. I do not take a step from where I am just to prove that you can literally get insanely powerful in no time at all and there we go guys another day another rank we're literally about to get the master legend assassin rank this is stupid i can't believe this okay now guys if i scroll down here right now you'll see the blade i currently own is the double immortal eternity blade right which is still quite far off the last blade but it's taking a while to get now and that's because i've hit a point in the game where i've plateaued which means now i kind of need to upgrade right and upgrading like this it's gonna take a while like the next sword is 600 un and the next rank is seven duo so this is the part where you can either stand still and do absolutely nothing which is what this challenge is right so now guys you need to make a decision are you gonna stay here and protect yourself from the police or are you powerful enough now to leave and in my case, I think I'm powerful enough to leave. So I'm going to close the shop. I'm going to glitch myself back up to the Winter Wonderland Island. Wait, is this a bully? Wait a minute, guys. Let's see if I can actually fight the bully yet. I'm going to go out to safe zone. And let's see if I can beat them. Okay. The bullies are still too powerful. Okay, well, guys, our bullies are still too powerful. So we need to become a better rank. So let's glitch ourselves back up into Winter Wonderland again like we did before. Okay, and there we go, guys. Okay, we managed to do that really quickly this time. And now what we need to do is we need to find ourselves the, uh, the thing. So ideally, I'd recommend buying yourself just a few jumps quickly like this. 
and then head up over to the sites like this and you need to get yourself everything so if you want to get the gems get the gems they're kind of not important guys but what you really need to do is find yourself a training zone and this is why this is important right this will speed everything up so much so uh you need to decide whether you're good or evil in my case today i'm going to be uh evil because uh, believe it or not they're actually easier to get to the evil training zones than the hard ones once you get yourself uh, some of those guys get yourself some evil or good karma which is this right here you need to go and get yourself some souls uh so you drop down another island this one just gives you uh i don't even know i think it's g oh my goodness i can't even found it 501 souls okay absolutely perfect now guys you need to head down to the ground level just like this and then you need to come over to the section over here come to the dark skills and you need to buy yourself the first few of these right and you will eventually unlock yourself the training lava what I can't believe I need cheat. Right, let's head back up. Okay, and guys, now this time we're going to buy ourselves the lava pit. And now we need to get to the lava pit. So, guys, now we need to head there as quickly as possible. Once we get there, we need to train. Guys, getting yourself the lava pit island is kind of easy. You just need to get to Enchanted Island. Using the glitch to get up to the top, just fall down to Enchanted Island. And once you're here, you can literally just stay on lava island. Insanely powerful. The only negative now is, guys, even though we're not moving for a second, every single time you rank up now you kind of got to head to the top glitch yourself up and come down though i suppose you might be able to glitch yourself into enchanted island as well i'm not too sure exactly how this glitch works i just know that it works for the top island <laughs> guys if you are scared of professional players getting overly powerful in games i suggest you turn your head away and look the other direction right now yes I'm ranking up again. <laughs> and guys, unfortunately from now, if you want to do the same method, you're going to need to go through the Winter Wonderland glitch, glitch yourself up, drop down to Enchanted Island's Lava Pit, and uh, yeah, get, get yourself uh, the hottest match in the game. 30 seconds left. Guys, 30 seconds left, and I run out of my multiplier, and I haven't even been swinging my sword, which means I don't think we're going to make another rank. But guys, that was not the intention of today. No. Do you not remember why we were doing this earlier, guys? We got powerful enough so we could defeat the bullies. And also so we could actually get powerful enough without moving. That was the idea, right? Okay, but guys, it is finally time to see if we truly are powerful enough to take out a bully. Here we go. Three, two, one. Wait. Wait, guys. We killed each other. <laughs> I've never seen that before, but we did. But yes, guys, that is going to be it from me today. If you guys did enjoy this video and you want to see more videos just like this one, then please do hit the subscribe button. What are you waiting for? Alternatively, leave a comment or suggestion in the comment section down below. And I, of course, will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.